Hi everybody, I'm back again. All right, I want to uh, pass along some information, but I first want to bring your attention to this video that, as I see it, Patty, uh, dial, dial, dial. All right, um, it's not dial, but Patty's video. Uh, and she is on the lake. Mendocino, the Lake County fires, the Mendocino County fires. Oh my God. All right. I just posted a video and I was prompted to post that video due to a comment that I got from Patty. And she just told me that she uploaded a video that she has posted on the fires, which is pretty much the same video that I posted in my video of somebody else. Somebody else is across the lake filming what you were filming, Patty. Um, but take a look at this. Um, right here. Listen. Listen to this. Very interesting. And see if you see what is an obvious anomaly taking place in the sky. This is terrible. And we have, yeah, that white dot is actually a solid red moon. That's a red moon, although you can't see it red. I sure can. It's the sun? Some, that's, okay, somebody told me the moon, and I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, no, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, misunderstanding that it's the sun. No problem, no problem. So, yes, it is a red blood sun. Have you noticed that something is not quite right with this picture? Should I point it out? Well, first of all, it looks like a red square and a white dot. Many people are talking about how this is the sun simulator. Again, another um, issue that has come out that I have not done any research on, so I have, I do have an open mind. It may be a similar, but, who, but something's very wrong with that picture. Why is the smoke going behind the sun? Is that not odd? So, clearly, that's not the sun. And, but that is the smoke. So when you see, and I've I seen, wish I could see it. But look at this. All of that this is the smoke. Happened. Did that just happen recently? All that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my God. That's just this. Yes, it exploded. Um, but it's clear. All right. Um, I also want to bring to you, pass along information that has been passed along to me by other subscribers. And I want to thank uh, that subscriber in particular who sent this along. There's a car fire activity map. I don't know um, how often it is updated, but it might be useful. I have, I heard Cindy Gray, Gray post a video and she said her sister lives in Reading and just thinking about all of the people who don't live in that area but have family or friends living in that area, you might want to know what is going on and here are the evacuation centers which I find very interesting. You've got Shasta College, Simpson University. And then a community church. They just added. So it I, it was updated since the last time I looked, which was about an hour ago. So they added a church. You have approximately 40,000 people evacuated, displaced. And you have Shasta College, Simpson University. University, they might have, you know, a huge hall and or um, just a huge, huge 
uh, buildings, gyms, or whatever. Okay, Shasta College, don't know how big that is, but community churches, we're talking about a small number of people who will be at these evacuation centers. So, okay, let's say a, a total of, and I think this might be stretching it, but 10,000. 30,000 are left to find friends and family, and there's an awful lot of people who don't have a place to go. Um, hotels are booked, and there's an awful lot of people who don't have the money to pay for hotels. And then you think about all of the people who fled. Did they flee with their wallets? They may not have. And when you're in, you know, such a, a state of um, shock, and when you are fleeing for your life, I heard some people had no time, no time to get out. You think about that grandmother and the two, her two grandsons who died in the fire. What happened? They only had one car. Um, the grandmother's husband left to just pick up some supplies and then was going to be back. These fires coming within minutes. And someone, um, I'm going to pause you, I want you to hear this. And I want to thank everybody, you know, that I, um, that pass along information and then, then I use it. I don't remember sometimes, so I don't want anybody to feel offended that I haven't thanked you. Um, yeah, I've gotten comments from people who, who unsub me because I didn't thank them for passing along information, which I never even saw, but here we go. Second major blaze broke Monday afternoon in areas northeast of Athens. This was to be the most devastating of the flames. The fire started and within 20 minutes it was out of the borders of Penteli and had reached Neos Futsas. After that it was a matter of minutes, not hours, for the fire to reach the sea. Minutes. Dozens of homes and cars were destroyed. The speed the fire spread took many by surprise. I was at the porch with the kids and the fire started. Within three minutes it exploded and it reached the house. The winds were very high, 10 feet maybe more. I managed to get the kids and leave the house. So, um, these fires, wow. Well, uh, they start, they explode, and they're at your house in three minutes. So there, are, think about all of the people who have had to flee. And when they realize they don't have a wallet, they don't have the essentials, guys, you've got to be very prepared. You, you just have to have that bug out bag ready to go with all of your important documentation. Uh, you have pets, you have a bag, you know, even the documentation of your dogs having their rabies shots, um, you have it ready to go. Get it out of your file cabinets, put it in bags, and park it by the door. This is, this is happening. You know, and when you listen to people who talk about this, well, the fire started, then it exploded, and it was at my house in three minutes. Something else is happening here. So I want to also thank my subscriber Northeast of Athens, the for uh, blame from uh, pointing out, she asked me why, or he asked me, I'm not sure, but he asked, or she asked, why I don't, when I'm doing these videos, why I don't put it into full screen or half screen. And others have commented asking me why. Because... Sometimes I just forget, and sometimes, actually very often, when I do the transition to a full screen video, um, my email shows up. I don't know why, it flashes on. So I don't want everybody, you know, to see all the people that email me. Uh, it's none of your business. Okay, so, um, 
there is this fire map. Now you're going to have to check it out. Um, I don't know really how to read it. These are all the hot spots of the fire. All of these you know, orange circles with the white dot in the middle. Hot spots all over. Hot spots all over. Now, if these are all hot spots, you would think that they would be able to put out this fire kind of quickly if they're just hot spots. Now, you who sent me this map, um, I guess I should have asked you if you know how to read this, but is this the entire fire? Is this the entire fire? The black boundary is redding proper. The the city of Reading and closure zones are all within the hot pink boundary. You can check it out, but try to get these maps in your areas, and I'm talking to you specifically in Northern California, Southern California, um, to learn where your evacuation centers are. You, know, you can just put in your county and evacuation centers, and I'm sure that you will be provided the information. There are a lot of people who don't have a place to go, and that concerns me. Um, so even if you know, okay, where the evacuation centers are, if you see that fire heading towards you, leave. Just leave. Don't get stuck in gridlock with all the people leaving. And get to these evacuation centers before they can't accept any more people because it does not look like there's an awful lot of evacuation centers opening up. Um, the pictures. This is a picture of <laughs> what started the car fire. Really? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, a flat tire and okay, let's think if this trailer just continued to drive with that flat tire, the rubber would be off and the wheel of the tire, it might have caused some sparking. But look at all of the dirt, the sparking from the road. It would have had to spark really pretty intensely to suddenly explode a fire as big as the car fire. I don't want to spend much time on the obvious. I'm so tired of it. This is what mainstream media is putting out to people, and people will just accept it. By the way, it's your fault because you're a human being and you are causing all of these disasters because you breathe and cause global warming and you've got cows and they fart okay it's your fault it's your fault for driving along a road having a flat tire hell it's your fault for driving they literally are blaming the human race for causing all of these disasters. And you know what? People are accepting it. And I guess it's easy to make people feel guilty. Um, it's, you know, the pictures. Well, I guess that tree blew over. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I, I was wondering if that had just fallen over, but that's a little bit too thin of a trunk. Um, but I do want you to see something right here. We've got another tree burning from the inside. Microwaves. Oh, I'm sorry for yelling. Microwaves. Microwaves. Think of a microwave. You hit something with a microwave. It heats it up on the ends, uh, inside 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 so we have another tree burning up inside thank you for all of your support 
Thank you for leaving your comments. Those of you who are uh, beside yourself and outraged and don't know how to get through to people and you know because when you when you you know come into this community and you voice what so many other people need to read because they too are feeling the same you lend support you lend support to others who are going nuts because it's very hard to to just maintain sanity in a world that seems to be exploding with insanity every day we get we get more and more explosions of insanity explosions of destruction the destruction whatever the cause of it is can't quite figure it out because it doesn't make any sense. So I will link below to every everything and I hope you guys stay safe. Much love to all of you.